Welcome back. Well, that was indeed an entertaining goal rush, but not if you are a Manchester United fan. Owen, we heard boos from the fans at full time. Do you think that was Ole's last game in charge of Manchester United? Um, they were thoroughly outclassed by a Watford side that are down in the relegation area. Um, I thought the Liverpool game and the City game were, were very bad in terms of performance, but they played against the two best teams in the country. That today they were, was almost worse because they were outplayed by a team that is, with the situation that they're in. He, all they said before the game, there'd be a reaction. There, there wasn't. They were actually worse. They, they were worse than those two games. So in that sense, that was about as bad as it's got, I think. And um, there'll be a lot more. I mean, there were a lot of questions leading up to it. You would have thought two-week break would have maybe given a little break and you come back and win the game against Watford. They've got Villarreal on Tuesday. have got Chelsea on the weekend, so it's not getting any easier. And United have conceded more goals than Chelsea, City and Liverpool combined. They've lost as many games as those teams. Four months ago, we said they were going to, with the squad that they had, they were in the title race, and they were, on paper. They're so far out of the title race, it's untrue. So, in that sense, if you look at it just like that, you'd go, it's not working. And that today was, that was a big shock, even considering what we've seen against City and Liverpool today. That was a big shock. 4-1 yeah. against Watford, completely unacceptable. And you mentioned those two crucial games. Chelsea next weekend, Villarreal before that in the Champions League. Is he really going to be the man in charge come Tuesday? <sighs> I mean, that's a, the, the thing is, they don't really have... Who, who's, going, who's going to be the person that could go do that? You almost look irresponsible if you don't have a ready-made replacement to actually go and look at it. But the problem is that was, was, was so poor... Um, that sometimes it could, it could force the hand. So Tuesday is a really, really difficult game. Really difficult. Villarreal were fantastic at Old Trafford. And so there's history between these two sides as well. Exactly. And obviously they've got the game against Chelsea. So, and the problem is they don't, look like, they don't look like they believe. The energy wasn't there. The effort wasn't there. The only player who showed that really was Donny van der Beek when he came off the bench. Second half, he played great. He played absolutely fabulous. But, you know, you get the red card from Harry Maguire. David De Gea has been their best player this season. He conceded a couple of soft goals. You know, there's not just one thing. I think the first thing they've got to sort out is the defence. United are going to score goals. But for the first time ever, I can think United, after, what, 11, 12 games, they've conceded more goals than they've scored. Scored 20, conceded 21. You know, not good enough for you. You look at Chelsea they on the flip, they, they, well, they scored 30, conceded four. That's where you should be if you want to be a championship caliber team. So defensively, they're, you know, it's not working. And they need to find a way to salvage. I don't know how they're going to do it. Because when you look at it, today was worse, was actually worse than the City game, which you couldn't believe. And it was worse than the Liverpool game. Karen, Donny van der Beek came on, changed the game a little bit. We thought they'd get back into it. And then came the sending off for the captain, which changed things once again. I mean, just naive. Um, you know, that was the first one. He's wrong side, he's got caught, he's, he's, he's pulling him down. <clears throat> he's just... I don't, know, I don't know what it is, but it just seems always a yard off. And then this one, it's his touch. There, what are you doing? And then it's reckless. Uh, it seems to me like he's, he's, he's never fully... I can't, I'm just never sure with him. Uh, man, you know, I don't know if he's under so much pressure because of the football club and he's the captain and he has to take it. And it, it's quite difficult and sometimes does that affect his performance? I don't know, only he will know that. But he never looks as comfortable for Man United as he does for England. And, and, and it's hard, and, and when things are not going well for you as, as a leader, which he is, he will take a lot of brunt and he doesn't help himself by doing that. But this is the time that you want your captain to step up. I'm not putting it all on Maguire, of course, it's about the team, but yeah, yeah. they need some sort of leadership on that pitch, surely. Well, there's more than enough out there. With De Gea, his experience, you know, with Harry Maguire, with Ronaldo, with Bruno Fernandes, there's more than enough out there, but I think you only really know players, you know teams, when it's difficult. And when it's been difficult, United today, Oli said they'll get a reaction. I thought we'd get one. They have been good under pressure. Yes, we've seen reactions from them, haven't but they? But they, they, you know, they, 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 they weren't. They, they, and if anything, once Harry Maguire went off, they went the other way. They, you know, the, the ship was going down and then it sank. So these goals are too soft. Matic loses the first header there. Dalo too soft. Great finish from Dennis. But there's so many things wrong with today. And most of them start with effort and intensity. Mm -hmm. And then you concede sloppy goals. So I think for Ole, you know, I, think, I don't think anybody before the game could have anticipated there'd be more questions after this game, but there'll be a lot more. Well, let's get some post-match reaction now and hear from the Manchester United goalkeeper, David De Gea. What can you say after another heavy defeat? Well, it's not, not much, much to say. 
think it was embarrassing, to be honest, uh, to see Manchester United play like like we did today. Uh, I think it's not acceptable, to be honest. Uh, the way we are doing the things, uh, the way we are playing. Uh, of course, now it's easy to say the, the manager, the staff, uh, but I think it's. it's Sometimes it's the players. We have we're professional players. We are playing for for Manchester United, so we need to show more, much more than we are we are doing. For Man United fans everywhere, welcome to Match Day Review. Here with me in the Old Trafford studio to try and analyse what just went on. Two United legends um, who could have done being on the pitch today, if we're honest. Brian Robson, Gary Pallister. I mean, Robert, it's difficult, isn't it, when we're in the studio after a defeat like that? Where to start? Um, how to analyse what we've just seen? Uh, Sully, like we start from first half performance. You can't keep starting games like that. So slack, not fighting, not working really hard to make sure you keep a clean sheet. And so that's where that's where it all starts from. And it's been far too many games now where the lads are just not working hard. They're not fighting for bouncing balls, and. They're the other teams are dominating us at, at this moment of time. And so until the lads realise that they have got to fight and work really hard in them first 20, 30 minutes and not give something away, then you might start getting some decent results. But until they start doing that, you're not going to get good results. Yeah, because the second half, and until the red card, um, and even after that, to a certain extent, we were a lot better. Yeah. But the damage had already been done. <laughs> they scored two late goals, Listen, which flattered the yeah. scoreline. If, if, if we're honest, we could have been out of the game uh, after the first half. You know, um, Harry makes two or three goal-saving challenges. We could have been three or four down. And uh, it was abject, to say the very least, the, the first half performance. We got a reaction. Uh, we came out, we looked a different team. Energy, Van der Beek in there, smashed into a couple of tackles, got himself a goal. Um, we looked as though we started dictating the tempo of the game. And you're thinking, right, this is going to... You know, carry on, and we're going to get the equaliser, and maybe who knows, uh, an unlikely winner, possibly. You know what I mean? Which you didn't really see in that first half performance. And then we have the mistake from Harry. Um, he'd be disappointed. He's tried to carry the ball away from um, the attacker, and uh, I think he's he's, he's mistimed his, his touch. And and you know, you can't argue with it. It's a sending off. Even after that, we 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 could have got back in the games. Uh, Cristiano has a couple of great chances. Bruno has a chance, and. Um, you know, you're thinking we're still, we're still in this game and then we concede the third and the fourth and, and the game's done and dusted. But you have to go back to the first half and say, how can you start off the game that badly? This is all yeah. about, and we spoke beforehand, about winning the battles, making a statement at the start of the game, saying, well, here, it's, gonna be, it's not going to be easy for you. You think you can have a go at us because we're in bad form? Here we go. Let's, you know what I mean, put our foot in, win a few tackles, win 50-50s. Uh, and we didn't do that that first half display and... You know, that ultimately cost us the game. And we keep saying, well, we need to bounce back. And, um, you know, no doubt players will be on social media saying, oh, we'll bounce back, we go again. But how many times can we keep doing this? Do you know, because we always say it after every game, when we need that disappointing run to end, how do we change it? What needs to happen? Well, the lads have got to realise that they, they've got to perform uh, in the week because we go to Villarreal, Champions League, Everybody wants to play in the Champions League. So, can we get a response from them? Yeah, you know, they've got to go there and just make sure we don't get beat. So that means being really dogged, defending, closing people down, being quick to the ball, and make sure that we're really solid. Because that's next thing, that, that's gone and, you, you know, yeah, you've got to assess the game and what we're doing wrong. Because the start of our game, in the last month and a half has been really shocking. And so the lads have got to look at themselves and say, hey, let, look at, let, let's even just put the ball forward, get in behind it, win second balls, and let's start from there. So then at least we're not giving mm. people chances against us. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you maybe have to go to real basics, whether you're Man United or not, and everybody says about, oh, the Man United way of playing. No, the Man United way of playing is be dogged, get a 1-0 win or a 0-0 draw at Villarreal and at least we're still in the Champions League yeah. and let's regroup and start again. But we've been saying that for a, a month anyway. Yeah. And so yeah. it's about time the lads started doing it and make sure that we start yeah. fighting, working harder and get a result. Yeah, because after Villarreal it's Chelsea. I mean, that, 
that looks an even more daunting trip now after the yeah, back they're of this looking, win, yeah. uh, loss. Yeah, they're, they're setting the standards with Liverpool and Chelsea, and we've just seen what's happened against Liverpool and uh, against Liverpool and City. Sorry, so yeah, that's that's a concern at the moment. But it's a game like today where you think, right? You know, I mean, people are watching that. Game. Everybody's watching that game today. We've had difficult games. We're playing at Watford, and we're thinking, right? Let's see United come out and dominate a display. We came out and we saw 45 minutes that was like, wow. You know, we could we could have been well out of the game in that first forty five minutes. Yeah, it could easily be three, four. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and you, you sat there scratching yeah. your head, you're thinking, what is Ollie saying there? What are the players saying in there? He did get whatever's been said in there at half time, he did get some kind of reaction. We've got to say that first and foremost. He's brought on Donny and he's yeah. brought on Martial. Yeah. Donny whacked into a few tackles, he gets himself a goal. He looks as though he's saying, right, right I am ready to play in the Premier League. I want to be yeah. part of this Manchester United side. And he's you know, the, the, our fans, you could hear him backing him, getting behind Donny. Uh, Martial cre helps create a couple of things as well. And you think, right, we've got whatever's been, whatever's gone in there, you know what I mean? Hopefully there was some home truths shot across each other's bows about, about that, that first half performance. But wasn't and there he's already got a in reaction. the previous games? They, they, they said yeah, that but, but, yeah, and, well, I agree with you. Absolutely. It, 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 God knows how many meetings they can have now about what's going wrong, we need to do this, we need to do that. You can't just keep saying that. Yeah, you can't You've actually got to go out yeah. and start doing that, do you know what I mean? And again, we're bullied out of that first half. It's because, and it's not because they're, they're better players, we've got better players, we know we've got better quality. But you don't win battles. If you don't win battles, you don't put your foot in, you don't win 50-50s, you're making life easier for the team you're playing against. Yeah. And you've always got to earn the right on a football pitch to be able yeah. to play your football. Yeah. It was something that was inbred and it was taught it was, was taught it was when I first came to United, you earn the right to play. Yeah. And you've got to do that at the start of games.